Hey friends, super quick one today. I basically just wanna show you some improvements that we made on the Annex MCP and AI front. So in Annex, if you use plugins, which by the way, you don't have to, right? They're optional, but if you use them, some of them or most of them come with so-called generators, which means in this case here, for instance, if I go in here, you can see I'm using here the Annex React plugin. So I can run something like a generator, which is called Annex generate at Annex slash React lib, and then see like packages, some lib, and that will then guide me through some different steps, ask questions, and then scaffold out a project. So similar to the project that I have scaffolded out here. The code that is being generated is actually pretty simple and pretty clean. So you can see here, I have mostly just like normal uh, stuff here. There's some NX specific things that are generated added because I'm using NX tags. But other than that, it's a pretty clean setup, almost what you would create on your own. Now you can run that from a CLI command, obviously, as we have just seen, but we also added the opportunity to run this via an actual UI. So some people just prefer not to use the CLI or specifically initially when you just want to explore what generators are available. This UI is really handy. And so if you open up NX console, which is a VS Code extension, also available for IntelliJ, you can go in here and then you see different commands, first of all, but you also see this generate UI. And so if that opens up, I can basically do the same thing and say, I want to generate a library. And so you can see for generating a library here, I have the possibility to run just like a TypeScript JavaScript library or a React library. And if I hit this one here, it will open up a user interface where I can define directory, the bundler, linter, etc. And then I can dry run it or generate right away or even just copy the command. So if I copy the command, you will see it just outputs the command that I've composed based on the inputs that I have. Now, in this case, I didn't really fill out any fields, so it's basically empty. So having all that said, you might be wondering, in a world of an AI and data lamps and coding assistance, why would I even need code generators in the first place? But there's still a place for them, because one thing that they really nail is the predictability. Because like you literally code them, right? So either the NX plugins provide them for you, but there's a lot of people that actually create their own custom generators locally in the workspace, to basically just make sure the structure of the libraries or setup of their applications work in a predictable way and respect their coding guidelines. Now, the interesting part that comes in here, which is the, the feature that we can implement it, is to combine this predictability of code generators, but then the intelligence, if you want, of an LLM, which can then use that generator and embed it with the context of the application and connect it further and elaborate on it further. So let me show you. So here basically I have this, this full structure and I want to create a new React library into it. So rather than invoking the generator by myself, I'm actually going to do that over Copilot. Create a new React library into the packages slash orders slash feed dash cancel dash orders folder and call the library with the same name of the old folder structure. And then afterwards also connect it to the main application, which is the main shop application. So let me fix here some, some weird names here. But basically what I'm telling is to create the library first, but then the interesting part here is this one here where the LLM comes in again. So once the library has been created, it is going to connect it to the main application. One thing that I can also mention is that make sure you link the library also properly in the package JSON of the main shop application. And so in that way, it would also go and update the package JSON and link it to the new library, et cetera, which you need to do in an NPM or PMPM workspace. So let's see. So what is happening here is like Copilot takes over. And what I didn't mention explicitly before is that we have an, an MCP server running behind the scenes because the NX console here hosts an MCP server, which comes with different tools uh, down here. You can see among which there is these generators, which lists all available generators in the workspace but also this generator schema, which returns exactly the options that you can provide to a generator. All right, so now it basically is going to invoke the, the generator. Uh, I can continue here, but what is actually happening is it opens the UI. So there's this deep integration between the LLM, which opens now the generate UI, which I've shown you before, allowing us to now customize how the options are being provided. Because there's one thing that is the whole vibe coding thing, just keep going, failing fast until it works. But then there's the other thing where you kind of provide or you, you create legit applications, right? And so you want to have control over the process. So here, for instance, what I'm going to do is like saying here, uh, checking the options here, Mandler is not, the name is, is good. So these options actually look pretty good. I could change some things in here. But once I'm done, I can just hit generate. 
So that's now going to actually create the library. So you can see it's going to create that into that feature, cancel orders, normal library. And now here also on the other hand, our LLM now keeps going. And so it reads the new cancel orders that has been created. It looks up the package JSON. And then it goes basically and creates it and updates it in the app, app TSX. So you can see here it properly linked. Let me actually make this a bit, little bit bigger. It properly linked the order in here, referenced the component. Now let's have a look at the package JSON. It doesn't look like it updated the package JSON here. There has been a package JSON updated though, which is, oh, which is this one here. So it linked properly the feature library we created to its corresponding data access order and UI order detail library, which we definitely will need in the project to, to actually build our cancel orders. Now we can uh, accept all these. Uh, let me accept this here. And uh, we could also still go and say, also connect the library to the main shop application package JSON in their corresponding dependencies. And so it should be able to go ahead and pick up our library we just created. And so it now also links it properly in here such that they're correctly connected. So yeah, the whole point that I wanted to show you here is basically how you can now see this interaction between something that's super predictable but it is being controlled by the LLM. So you see that back and forth between the LLM starting the process where we interact with it, maybe even before figure out where to place the library because we were working in a bigger workspace. Then the LLM automatically uses the MCP to figure out what tools are available, which generators are available, invokes the correct one, places it in the correct place, but then also opens up the UI first so that you can go through and check the options because sometimes LLMs fail, right? So we can kind of adjust it, maybe even change our opinion because like, oh, actually, I want to use a bundler for this one because I want to make it a buildable library. Uh, and so you can change that still, hit generate. That will be handed over to the LLM again. And so we continue to pick it up and then link it properly in the workspace. And what I really like is the, the, the thing that happens afterwards, right? So once our generator runs, the AI can figure out, okay, I have placed it in. As we have seen, it also connected it here specifically. Let me show you again, which is actually a pretty impressive part here. It connected it properly to the libraries which you might probably want to use. And this is very context specific to your workspace, which the generator just doesn't have, right? Because if I show here the project graph, we already have other libraries in here, for instance, the current orders, which use these data access order and the UI or details uh, libraries already. And so the AI knows that because it knows the workspace structure. And so when generating, it updates that generator code automatically already to fix it and adjust it to your current uh, workspace. So it's all about the predictability and that intelligence. I'm saying quotes because like we, we know it can fail, right? But it can you can combine these two to get the best outcome and the best DX basically for your workspace. So yeah, Keep an eye on uh, future features that we keep pushing out. Uh, as I mentioned always, oblig obligatory mention, like the video, subscribe to, to our channel so you're not gonna miss any future announcements. And hopefully I see you in the next one. Take care.